Hey guys, this is Jessica Singer from 94.9 Radio Western. This Monday, the campaigning period began for the 2020 USC elections. Undergraduate students have the opportunity to speak to USC presidential candidates, faculty counselors, and faculty president candidates. Last year, less than a quarter of students came out to vote for the USC elections. This means that roughly only 8,000 students voted out of the 32,955 students eligible to vote. It is extremely important as students to educate ourselves on the candidates' platforms and ensure that they are doing everything they can to make our experience at Western the best it can be. Let's go check out what students think about the USC elections and what they know. Okay, could you guys tell me your names and a little bit about yourselves? Um, I'm Caroline, I'm in kinesiology. Um, hi, my name is Arjun. I'm a first year student at Western and I'm in data science. Uh, I'm Isabel, I'm in second year med sci. Hi, I'm Maddie, I'm in fourth year BMOS accounting. Karina Rego, oh, I'm in Fizz Farm. Uh, my name is Jess Thompson, I'm a fourth year Western student studying sociology. I'm Sylvia and I'm also in Kent. Hi, I'm Melody. I'm in fourth year uh, on a specialization in MIT. Hao Ming, I'm also in Fizz Farm. Uh, I'm Haley and I'm also in Kent. <laughs> I'm Karina, I'm also in fourth year BMOS accounting, so we're done this year. Could you tell me what USC stands for? University Student Council. Yeah. Uh, University Student Council. Awesome, you got the first one right. University Students Council. Can you corroborate that? I, I will, uh, I concur. University Student Council. Yes. <laughs> awesome. I recently that like there's an apostrophe after the S. Oh, that's something I didn't even know. The more you know. Council? Yeah, like yeah, university it's, students. It's students. Yeah. Uh, university Student Council. <laughs> um, so have you ever voted in the USC elections? I know you're only a first year, but do you plan on voting this year? Um, I was thinking about it. I've seen like a couple of posts here and there, but I haven't really looked into it that much. Uh, I have not voted previously, but this year I might do some research and actually vote. Have I ever voted? I don't... I can't remember. I feel like I voted once last year. I probably didn't. I should vote this year. I think I voted every year. Um, oh. But I'm not sure if fourth years are allowed to vote. Yeah, yeah, no, you're allowed to vote in fourth year as well. Oh, okay. I haven't voted yet, but I would be interested in voting this year. I voted every year and I will again this year. Um, I think I voted for the first time last year only, and then I'll probably vote again this year too. Uh, yes, I voted last year, and this year I'll read the platforms once more, and I'll vote. I'll make sure to vote. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I don't know enough information about it to vote. Like, I haven't voted, but if I, like, get to know information, I would want to vote, because it's pretty... Yeah. Um, I think we both voted last year, and we voted very last minute, so if we're going to vote this year, it's going to be very last minute again. Oh. Yeah, me too. I haven't voted, but I don't know a lot about it. Um, but if I, like, did my research, and I would vote. But do you know the name of the current USC president and vice president? No, I, I... Um, so do you know the name of the current USC president and vice president? Mitch? Is he one, is that his name? That's about a year ago. Um, Bardia and Kat. Yeah. Do I need a full name? <laughs> yeah, no, that's awesome. And it's Bardia and Kat. Yeah. 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 Kat was my RA in first year, yeah. so. Yeah. Um, so do you guys know the name of the current USC president and vice president? No, I don't. No. Um, oh, I think I... No, actually, yeah. <laughs> no. Do you know their names? Could not tell you. Uh, I oh. think it's Vardy and Kat. Yeah, you're right. No, Mitch was in 2018. No, it sounds familiar. I'm going to look like an idiot on this thing. <laughs> How many students voted in last year's elections? I'm going to give you I'm going to give you a percentage number. So first is 100%, everyone voted. Second is 52%, third is 76% and last is 24%. 24. What was the third option? 50. 50. I'll I'm go, gonna go for it one down. Let's 100? Like uh the option that's lower than 50. Uh yeah, it was 24%. Yeah, 24% of students voted in last year's election, so that's a pretty small amount. I'm going to go a nice 52%. That's, I thought that too. I feel 52, <laughs> yeah. 52. I'm going to go with 24. I'm going to unfortunately say so I think it's 50? 24. Oh, I was going to say 52. Well, there's no way it's 100% because I didn't vote. So I would honestly choose probably the lowest percentage you said was 24. Yeah. So I would probably say 24% just because I don't think a lot of people take the time to actually go in and vote, they get a lot of emails about it, but nobody actually takes the time to make a change, so. Yeah, I think it's a third option. I remember I was really disappointed when I saw how many people voted. 
Yeah, so 24%. Was it 24? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Correct. Austin says, which of the following is not a USC service? So we have the wave and the spoke, medical services, daycare, and facilities management. Facilities? Ooh. Ooh, that's a I tough think one. It's facilities, I'm thinking facilities management. management. That seems yeah, like so. Western on a whole would be in I charge know of that. Daycare, daycare is. Do we have daycare? I don't think we have daycare. Do yeah, we? I've not heard of daycare. I guess we don't have daycare. The <laughs> USC actually does fund daycare. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the and medical, the student yeah, insurance yeah, plan. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go with facilities. Yeah, you're right. That's awesome. Good job. Daycare? No, we actually fund a daycare. Yeah. Good so for us. <laughs> Good for us. That's awesome. Okay. What is it? Yeah, so the correct answer is facilities management. Interesting. Okay, why don't we phone that? Do you know? It's an. It's more independent. Yeah. Not you. Not with the USC directly. But yeah. All right. Awesome. A USC service. <sighs> We're really thinking oh, about man. these. I want to say healthcare, but like, uh, I'll say I'll say facilities. I want to say facilities management. Yeah, you're right. So, how much money would you be saving if you opted out of? all USC non-mandatory ancillary fees. So first we have $56, then we have 170, third we have 270, and last we have 520. I'm gonna say it's 270. I'm thinking 270. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna guess the third option again. Yeah, 270. <laughs> 270? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that makes sense because we pay for a lot of things that we're kind of unaware that we pay for. So if we take time to actually go through it, you can see that there are a lot of things you can opt out of. Yeah. So it seems like a lot of students know that there wasn't a large voter turnout in last year's elections. If you want to educate yourself and learn more about the campaign and the platforms, feel free to check out westernvotes.com. Voting opens February 3rd at 8 a.m. and closes February 4th at 8 p.m. for USC presidential candidates, faculty presidential candidates, and faculty counselors. So that's all for today. Feel free to check out 94.9 Radio Western on our YouTube channel, Facebook, and on air at 94.9 FM. Have a good one. Was it 32,000 or 34,000? Which of the following is not a USC um, service? So the first one I have is the spoke and the wave. The second one is um, medical services. The third is facilities management. And the last is medical services. I think you just said medical services twice. Oh, I did? I'm out to vote. This means that around... Last year... Wow.